What's up, Utes? How's it going? Oh, what? Oh, this thing. Oh, thanks. It's just a snazzy haircut, but thanks for noticing. It's not going to help me today, but I'm doing a half marathon in Tunbridge Wells, and I'm doing it because it's part of my training for the London Marathon, so I need to get good at running at certain paces for longer distances of time because I have a certain time I want to run at in London. So today is the Tunbridge Wells Half Marathon, which is my home race, but also it's something where I'll be aiming for a PB. Um, I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to PB or not, but that's the aim of the day, and I'm gonna take you with me. But the problem with the old personal besterino, the old PB, the personal besties, is that you can't beat them always, even if you're at your absolute fittest. It doesn't work as simply as that, because there's so many factors that you have to think about. Uh, like, for example, the last time I ran this, I was nowhere near as fit, I was nowhere near as strong as I am now. It was four years ago, but, the entire race I felt like I was just completely in the zone, running on a cloud in a flow state and I could push as hard as I want and still run fast and you never know if that's going to happen or not on the day. So there's more factors to it than just I'm fitter than I was last time. So I've got that to contend with as well and I'm just hoping that at the start line my body goes bang, let's go. The thing is, I've just done the warm up, I couldn't even film that because we were so under time pressure that I couldn't even get the warm up in, I couldn't even get the me going to get numbers in, I couldn't make a video of that bit. I have just run from the sports hall to Dad's house and I'll have to be honest, my legs are feeling a bit sluggish. Um, I don't feel like anxious but what I do feel is like slightly nervous because I think this time I know I'm trying to get a PB rather than just running it for fun and I am running it for fun but I do want to see where I'm at in terms of my training so I feel a bit heavy. Mary's going to be at the uh, start and finish line, Nikki's going to be there too. Uh, we'll see where we go, I'm going to take the Go switch to GoPro mode now. Actually, Borkham Hill's done. That's the kind of hardest climb over. And now it's just like a little bit of undulation into the end. Um, I am on for a PB. Just got to see what happens to the legs. Because it was this time, four years ago, that I really felt like I was like floating and running well. But at the moment, happy. to not take the GoPro out because my legs are so That's the big thing. I think willpower to willpower to get me through the rest of this. Plus I might be able to see Straight. Can nearly smell it. 2K. Oh, 
Woohoo! I'm absolutely on my limit now. 500 meters to go. Killing me. Oh, come on. Empty the tank. Gotta empty the tank. Push you to a little finish there. Good running. Good run, <laughs> well done. Great running. Really good. Well done. Well done. You alright? Brilliant. Thanks. Yeah. Well done, right. Benji boy. Alright. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Ah. Yeah, like I'm alright, but just frustrated that I didn't stop my watch. Is that bad? 120, 123-ish, so that is a new PB. I'll take that. We're getting some coffee now. We're heading for some cake, a bit of coffee. Essentially, a really good, really happy run. I achieved what I wanted to achieve, and that's all you can ask for a day in that and I've earned cake. Debrief time. I have my coffee, second of the day. That's usually a no-no for me. Just have a really nice piece of cake, and I'm just really buzzing from the whole experience of the day. Uh, really happy with my time. The other good news is that I ran a lot faster than I would need to run the London Marathon pace-wise to get the time that I want and felt comfortable. It's a hilly course that I did today. You know, there's no no messing about. There's a couple of really big hills, and London Marathon is pretty much flat, so all very encouraging all part of the training but you know again part of the training for me is is winning that mental battle is telling myself that my body can do it is kind of giving myself small victories along the way so the consistency is coming through in my training it's showing in my racing I feel absolutely fine now the endorphins are flowing feeling really good and I'm really happy so it's Tuesday now and I've had a little time to look back and reflect on the race and why I'm making the vlog. And the first thing I think is important for you to know from me is that this was never actually about uh, running a PB, it wasn't a vlog about that for me. If you know me or you're subscribed to the channel then you'll know that this is nothing to do with ego, this isn't an ego trip. I have no interest in showing you how fast I am. That's just not me. I wanted to make the vlog to showcase this great race, but also to show you the training and racing that I go through in order to get myself in the right shape for the London Marathon. It's all about the process and letting you in on that, and this is part of it. But even more than that, I wanted to make the vlog to show you how rewarding, inspiring, and uplifting this running lark can be. can't hear that but there's someone talking on the phone the other side of the fence. Running is just so accessible, anyone can do it. My father-in-law is 70 and he's just started running again and he's doing park runs. My nephew is eight years old, he does park runs. Mary has gone from not being able to run even 5K less than six months ago because of injury to now easily being in good enough shape to run a half marathon. So if the vlog has done anything to inspire you to get started, then Tuesday's tutorial is a beginner runner guide, a kind of guide to the kit that you'll need to get started on your running journey and on top of that subscribe to this channel because I aim to bring you as many tips and as much information as I can on fitness and life oh and another reason that you should run races is you get these you get snazzy tops as well in a lot of them which are so nice and that's it I'll see you Tuesday we'll go for that time I don't I don't actually drink so that was see you later